Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a quick update at the Crestone Energy Fair, Saturday, September 4th, around 9 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. A major solar flare coming off the sun today at X. 4.7. Did I nail that or did I just make a boo boo there? Could be 4.5. Yes, X 4.5 produced by AR3825 has been modeled by the WSA Enlil Spiral and will be headed our way. Keep calm. We don't even have a good mic. Francine's aftermath continues to flood the Deep South. Days after Hurricane Francine made landfall, its relentless rain continues to unleash flooding across the Deep South, saturating millions in already soaked areas. And that rain is going to continue for another few days as nearly 30% of the U.S. Gulf of Mexico oil output comes to a halt after Hurricane Francine. 30% of oil and 41% of natural gas production in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico were offline Saturday following Hurricane Francine. But the good news, firefighters are making significant strides in containing the airport fire in California. Containment is now at 19%. A quick look at the weather. Heavy rainfall threat continues in the southeastern U.S. with severe weather threat in the plains. Showers and thunderstorms with locally heavy rainfall may create a threat for scattered instances of flash flooding across portions of the southeast. This is due to already saturated soils. Thanks to post-tropical depression, Francine. Thunderstorms capable of producing isolated severe gusts and hail will be possible over parts of the north central plains and elevated to locally critical fire weather conditions are possible in Wyoming. Just right there. <laughs> like swimwear. We can see a tropical uh, system here brewing off of South Carolina. That is going to be noodling around there for the next three or six hours and then move on shore here Monday as a tropical system bringing heavy rain for it looks like Virginia and North Carolina as well as South Carolina so heed the warnings early in the week and the models showing another hurricane moving into the Gulf late in September as well as heavy snow moving across Canada. A quick seismic update shows, well, we did have two coronal holes facing Earth over the last few days, now turned away, but a moderate uptick in moderate earthquakes worldwide, including the Ring of Fire, as activity in the West continues, especially in Southern California there. Nothing significant uh, on the list. Worldwide Volcano News will be covering that more in depth, if need be, when we get back to the Pagosa area. But the big story, a major X 4.5 solar flare was produced by AR3825 just a few hours ago, earlier today. So let's take a look at the video of the flare. And let's try to shut that monetized music down or uh, copyrighted music there and you can see it is coming from that active region that just turned around the limb but the WSA M spiral is showing a significant plasma from the event you can see it blasting off there wow that was nice let's let's move that back through and here is that really nice shot of the plasma Bear with me, I've made a video on a laptop in quite some time. Here we can see that active region blasting off that X 4.5 solar flare. Quite a bit in that region. Magnetic complexity, obviously, significant enough to blast off a significant X flare, which is headed our way in just a day. Here is the WSA Enlil Spiral model for that flare. And you can see it will be a glancing blow. It could have been much worse, but they are showing a significant portion of plasma making contact on the 16th. Uh, that will be Monday afternoon, most likely. Which is bad news for Aurora, Aurora watchers, but the way these have been forecast recent weeks, uh, 
I wouldn't hold it past this storm from arriving earlier or, in fact, later. The three-day geomagnetic forecast starting on September 16th showing strong G3 geomagnetic storm, KP7, lasting into September 17th with the potential for G2. We'll take a look at that detailed forecast now. There you go. It could be a 24-hour geomagnetic storm with a high probability of aurora September 16th in the 17th overnight. So get out and look up. We'll be home by then, so we'll have a detailed analysis Monday evening. We're going to leave you with this August 28th article by David Archibald, The Solar Control of Climate, a review. And when we get back, maybe we'll be talking about this on our radio show. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video with like-minded people. Hit the thumbs up. And wish us safe travels as we are in Crestone at the 35th Annual Crestone Energy Fair. We love you. Be safe.